Hi, my name is Rastan Tur, I'm from blogengine.net team and in this video I will show you how to install, configure and start using blogengine 2.9. I start by downloading application from the website and if I look for blogengine codeplex, it will bring website and I'll just download link. Should be pretty quick. And this is application files. It's all in single folder. So what I want to do is I want to uh, unzip it somewhere on my computer. I'll go for C demo and just bring it here. So now I have a directory with a blog engine files and I need to run it as a server-side application. For the server-side application I need IIS installed. Uh, easiest way to check if I have it, I can just go to localhost. And as you can see, you ha I have uh, IIS 8 installed. Uh, if you're not sure if you have it or not, you can just go to uh, Windows Futures. and check for Internet Information Services. If you have it, you can just install it from here. So I already have it, and I need to run this application in IIS. To do that, I will go to IIS Console, and there's a Sites and default website. I have a few applications already installed and I need to install a new one. Uh, first thing I want to check is application pools to make sure that I have pool that I can run my application with. And in case with Block Engine 2.9, I need .NET 4.5. So, it, and if you notice, it runs by network service identity. So this is what I'm gonna use for my application. So I'll go to default websites and create new virtual directory I will call it uh, B29 and physical pass is a where I uploaded my application which is a demo blog engine now I have virtual directory and I need to configure it as application because it's ASP.NET application so I go to convert to application and default pool may not be what I want to so I look at it in here and I want to change it to .NET 4.5 uh, mode integrated now I have this application installed and configured uh, one last thing to check is a uh, permissions on application folders if I look under security I see that network service does not have any permissions for this application physical structure so I'll do edit add and look for network service. And uh, I simply add full control over this directory. Um, in production environment, you will probably uh, do a little bit more elaborate, like add permission on app data, app code, and so on. But in my case, it just will be simpler to use all directory permissions. So now that I have application installed, configure, I hopefully will be able to run it from localhost. I'll just go to B29, which was my virtual directory that I set up over there. And if I did everything correctly, I should have application up and running. And here it goes. So we have Blog Engine 2.9, and we can check version here. It's 
it is installed it is running so I can start using it uh, first thing I want to do is just to log in and default is admin with the same password admin which is obviously not very secure so first thing I want to do is to change my password to something more uh, secure have it okay so now we have application running we changed password for the administration user um, and we can log into the admin console to see what it looks like so this is a default post created by blog engine uh, there is a comments. There are a few comments exist right now. There is a pages. There is a categories and tags. And as you can see, all these grids are very similar. They all behave and look very much the same. There is a uh, filter right here. There is a search you can like look for. I'm going to and everything goes away. Like you see, it's very convenient. Uh, you can approve, unapprove selected items and it works across all the pages and categories and all the other tables in the application exactly the same way uh, if you look at the blogs there's just a single blog right here but block engine is capable of running se several blogs on the same application so it can be more than that and if I look at the dashboard you'll see that there is a uh, stats available here there's a comment, so there's a pages and drafts, there's a latest packages from the gallery, there's a log messages, which I can purge from here if I want to. Um, there's a users, and right now there's just admin, you can add new users and you can remove it. If you want to, there is a roles, and for every role there's a number of permissions that you can set to access or to disable some of the features. Uh, there is a user profile and you can change picture, you can edit settings for this user. And uh, there is a settings that will uh, basically define what your application will look like, how it will behave and all the differences uh, for different features like uh, security, uh, RSS feed, email settings, uh, control settings, there is a custom code that you can in inject into application header or page header or into the end of the page. Uh, there is a settings for comments. You can import or export data to your, to your blog and etc. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the new UI is very nice, clean, uh, easy to use, easy to navigate and generally improvement over the last version I think. One last thing that I wanted to show is that, well, because this new application is very much client-based, it's JavaScript all the way, uh, there's a JavaScript error that can be uh, thrown on the front end that you should be looking for. For example, let's say Firefox, and in, in Chrome or in IE, you can use development tools, works generally the same way. If I refresh this, I can look for the errors, and uh, right now there's nothing, but if there's something you would see it in here. Uh, also if I for example switch to net and again refresh it, you see that there is a whole lot of scripts right here uh, brought to the browser and it might be not very uh, efficient so to make it a little bit better I can just go to my application install open web config in edit any text editor I use Visual Studio here but it can be like a notepad and uh, if I look for debug, it said for true here. If I set it to false, and refresh my page, it should combine and minify all this JavaScript so it will be a little bit faster.
yeah, issue right now there's just the two scripts left and same for the CSS files just single CSS file left uh, one last thing is uh, security related uh, because our application uses a uh, machine key configuration file like right here uh, this is a same configuration key for every blog engine install and you might want to change it to something unique so what you can do is uh, if you go to any search engine and look for sp.net machine key generator you can generate unique key right here on the website and just copy it and paste to your web config and the one that is here by default I can just get rid of it so now I have unique machine key configuration file and it will make my application a little more secure should not make any difference after I log in Okay, so that's, uh, well, maybe there is one more thing that I want to show. It is just a uh, new editor. I can just delete this file that is default one and create a new one. And this is a new editor for posts and pages. So I can just go and create my new post. I can create a uh, set a category and uh, tags and just publish it. So if I go to posts, I can see that it's appears right here and I can navigate to my post out of here. So as you can see the new application is uh, very easy to use, easy to install, and I hope you will enjoy using it. Thanks for watching.